Welcome to today's episode of High Performance by the Word. I'm still your regular host, Pastor Tokwe Edo. We've been enjoying so much since we began this program looking at fundamentals in enabling us achieve maximum value, that is high performance. You know, in our world today, you are as relevant as the value you generate. And so we're looking at fundamentals, key knowledge areas, giving um, them perspective from the Word of God in helping every one of us viewers generate maximum value so that you can be as relevant as you want to be because God wants you relevant and the society wants you very, very relevant. Last week, we looked at one of the key fundamentals, which is vision, and today we'll be going into a different dimension of that. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. With me on set today is Lin, uh, Mrs. Linda Ebonu, and um, together we've been looking at the subject of vision, and uh, she's thrown so much light on the subject already. She's uh, talked about the importance of vision, why you must have a vision. Without vision, you're like a blind man. Without vision, you are unguided. Vision is very, very important. Everyone must have a vision, whether you are a person, whether you are a couple, whether you are an organization, whether you are a government, whether you are a nation, whether you are a church, you must have a vision. And today we'll be looking at something very closely related to vision, which is strategy. Mrs. Linda, you're welcome. Thank you, Pastor, yes. for having me again. Thank you very much. You um, helped us in defining a whole lot of things in the last episode. Today we're going to be looking at um, another aspect which is very related to vision because they say that your vision defines your strategy. And um, many times people ask, what really is strategy? Uh, must I have a strategy? Um, is the strategy um, my plan? Or is it my goal? Or <laughs> what really is strategy? And how is it so related to vision? Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, strategy is a plan. Yes. It's a plan of action. How you want to achieve your overall or desired results. And, and, and it's futuristic also. It's a, it's a high level plan about how you want to achieve your vision, your objectives and what you want to do. And uh, in a strategy, you must also take uh, um, cognizance of resources. Very important. Because if you draw up a strategy that for a, an organization and you don't have resources to support the strategies that you've drawn, then it's useless. So strategies have to do with plan, and it's high-powered plan and uh, of achieving future desires, objective goals. That means um, your strategy enables you achieve your vision. Yes. That means truly your vision defines your strategy. Yes. Then you, you made mention of something now that um, um, you must have the right resources yes. to enable you achieve strategy. Yes. Does that imply that you cannot copy the strategy of some other person? You, you, you can't copy if, you ha if you're on the same level with, with, with the individual. For instance, in church, we've defined our vision yes. to reach the whole world. And in doing that, a lot of money is needed. Yes. And that is why in some churches, they don't talk about money. Because their strategy doesn't need the amount of money ours need yes. based on what we want to do. Yes. So a lot of you can copy strategies, but it depends on what you're copying. If you, you can't copy, for instance, a nation like Nigeria, there are certain things that you can't copy from here to other country, like the US, wow. with the amount of money they have. Yes. We're talking about job creation. And you want to copy what America has done in creating jobs. We're talking about billions of dollars. Wow. We, we might copy the strategy, but it wouldn't work fully. We won't copy it in total. Yes. Because it has to do with uh, 
funds. Yes. It has to do with the resources that are available to you. Yes. It has to do with how large you are too. Okay. If, if you are a small company or a small organization, you can't copy a strategy of a very big organization. You can't. So strategies have to do with, you know, you can have a strategy of spread if you are in business. Oh, I have conquered just market. I have conquered Lagos market. I want to move to, to the whole of West Africa. That takes money. So your strategy, you must also look into what you have, the resources you have. Resources here does not mean only uh, money. It means other infrastructure, other equipments, other, other things. Human resource is there too. So when you're talking about uh, strategy, you're talking about a whole lot the of things. things. Yes. And that's why we say it's a high level plan. It's not just a one one line plan. If it's an organizational strategy, it has to do with the employment, who is there, the people. It has to do with your finances, how much money you have, what technology you're using. So, so many. And in, in, in strategy, it has levels. It has levels. There are some strategies that if it is a, a strategy or spread, you might be looking at your production. You might be looking at your marketing. So strategy is, is, is actually more than a plan. Yes. It's a plan, but it's a bigger plan. It's a, a coming together of a lot of complex yes. uh, planning and um, elements working together. Working together. All right. Yes. So does that mean that um, as someone running um, my business, I don't particularly need a strategy since it entails so much complexities, uh, people, resources, technology, um, all of those things. No, no, no. You, okay. need, you need a strategy at, yes. at whatever level you are. Yes. If it is business penetration, that is you want to penetrate a particular area, you need a strategy. If it is you've penetrated, you want to spread, you need a strategy. If you are a startup and you are coming into business, you need a strategy. About how do I come into this business? Oh, I want to produce detergent. And people are already producing it. You need a strategy of how to come into the market. If it is okay, you even want to be a consultant like I am, you need a strategy. And that strategy will determine how you grow. Yes. If you want to, depend, if it's HR that you want to go in, your strategy might be that in the next one year, I'm going to go to do training, a lot of training, skills development. That takes money. That yes. takes time. So in strategy, it's, it's, it's about money, it's about time, it's about technology, it's about skills, it's about a whole lot of things. Okay. Do I, to come up with um, the right strategy, yes. because whatever it is I want to do or uh, we want to do or an, or an organization wants to do, they have to come up with the right strategy. Yes. And um, does that mean that to come up with a strategy, will you require a professional to consult for you to help you determine the strategy or on your own you can just work out a strategy and begin to run? Um, do you need to read up some things? You, you do need to read up some things. If it's an organization, you need to do an organizational diagnosis to find out where you are, where you're going and what you have already. And you might need professionals if it's a large organization. Even if it's a small business, we have uh, BDS, business mentors. Yes. We have business coaches. You might need to have a coach. And be, having a coach does not mean that you might go and get a professional. You might get a professional, but you can just work if you want to open, for instance, I want to open a business of making soft drinks. I might need a coach who, who is doing it already. Okay, soft drinks, not like Coca-Cola. Not now. like Coca-Cola. Maybe like Maybe Zobo. Like, yes, like Zobo. Sorry, any please. Of this. Um, if you're watching, Zobo <laughs> is a local drink made here in some parts of Nigeria. And that's and a lot of small business owners who manufacture drinks usually go in for that. And that's why I mentioned that. So like Zobo. Yes, yes. you might need to, to see somebody who has done it before yes. or who knows how to do it. Then you can drop it. You, you're sitting in your house without information. That's why I said if it's an organization, you do organizational diagnosis. Yes. Yes. You also want to know your competitors. Yes. Who are those in, in there? How much do I, will I be able to sell? And that person can coach you. That person can also help you to, 
to draw up a strategy. You wow. need a lot of information to draw up. It's not something that you just sit back in your wow. room and just... Sorry say, to cut you here, um, Mrs. Linda. Uh, you heard the beautiful things she's just said. We are not true yet. We'll just go on a short break. When we come back, we'll um, keep talking on this and go into something even more interesting that you would like to know. In my sphere of life, I think everything has changed. I can now negotiate and renegotiate my value. It's not going to end. It's a season of renegotiations, re year in, year out. I'm waiting for to see all the results come up and begin to show up in my life and in my ministry and in everything that I do. Thank you so much, Zona Pastor. I love you. Thank you for this opportunity, sir. God bless you. Hi, my name is Saoju Stanwokedi. I work with a bank and I'm also very passionate about wellness and healthy living. You know, the program today was really awesome. First of all, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my Zonal Pastor for this opportunity to, you know, sit and hear the words that he has shared with us, high performance by the word. It's been, it's been awesome and, and you know, um, a, lot of, a lot of the things that I've learned that have transformed my thinking towards the way I do my job and the way I go about my business. So um, I'm amazed. You know, what really caught my attention was the last illustration Pastor made about, you know, about how the change dynamics in the world you know, the way it is now, it is not for people that are visionless. So it's time to, it's time to, you know, go back to the drawing board, look at my vision, look at my activities, my actions. Are they in line with the, the destination I'm heading to? So it's been awesome and I'm really grateful to God for that opportunity. And I'm going, you know, out there to do amazing things. And I'm so, so, so looking forward to the next season. Thank you so very much. My name is um, Sister Kadishi Penit and I'm a fashion designer. This program has been awesome, it's been glorious, and I've learned so much. I've learned that I can produce superior results with capability, with capacity, I can make results. It has given me so much vision that it has made me, I've gone back to the drawing board now, to look at what I've been doing, to see what I can do, because this program has really given me a greater vision, greater vision to do much more to do mighty and great things. I just want to say thank you so much for our Zonal Pastor Pastor um, and Talk Where You Do. It's been wonderful. I'm really looking forward to the next season. Welcome. Just before we left um, for the break, Mrs. Linda was talking to us about the importance of business mentors, um, which could help you develop strategies in uh, approaching a market or in taking over a market if you just a startup or you're running a small business. There are certain things I, I, I want us to, to look at now. The SWOT analysis, is it important to strategy? Very important, Pastor. Yes. Because the SWOT analysis will tell you what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, your opportunities and your threats. And that means you're doing in-house diagnosis and you are doing external too. Yes. You're looking at your competitors, you're looking at the things that we, uh, away from your environment. So very important when you're doing strategy. Of course, if you are doing strategy for growth, you must do SWOT analysis. Whatever kind of strategies you are doing anyway, you must do SWOT analysis. Even in your home, Pastor, even in church, you want to grow the church. Yes. You must do SWOT analysis. You must check what are your strengths, what are your opportunities, what are the things that are threats to your growth or expansion, depending on what kind of strategies you're drawing up? Is it strategy for expansion? You might be doing strategy for growth in church. Growth might be growth of the internal uh, people that you already have in church. Expansion, bringing in more people or opening new churches. So all that you have to do is SWOT analysis to find out how you should uh, venture into that. And that will imply on your strategy that you will develop, strategy for action. Wow, that's beautiful. You know, in this um, program, we have identified a very crucial and very important um, perspective. We've discovered that um, all of these beautiful things we, we're talking about, all of these beautiful things that have been um, developed um, over time, vision, leadership, 
um, strategy and name them, we've found out that they are all connected to the Word to of word, God. Yeah. So does the Word of God, uh, because coming to mind now, it's a particular scripture as you were talking, you, you must have a strategy if you must win effectively or succeed. I remember a scripture where um, Jesus was saying something. If you, if you go into war, you've got to, you've got to first of all determine if the if in fact if you you've, you're going to war to fight a king that has about twenty thousand soldiers, you've got to be sure that you with your ten thousand soldiers you can fight okay. this king, or you you engage in this warfare and somewhere along the line you discover that you cannot succeed against this king and you now send an emissary to go plead for you or something like that. Are there other portions of scripture that help us um, discover the importance of coming up with the right strategy in engaging in anything you want to do? Yes, I'll look at uh, the ministry when, the, when Jesus was here with us how he carried out the ministry. He had three years plus to do what he did. And he, he had a strategy on how to win and how to spread the gospel around. He moved from this place to this place. And when, when he couldn't go, he sent, he sent disciples. And he also prepared them on how to continue after he's gone. That's a strategy because wow. he knew that the gospel will not end with him. Yes. When he goes, some, it must continue. He wow. prepared them. They were schooled, and you know I talked about their strength, your strength, even when you are, you are planning a strategy, your strength. At certain times, you might plan a strategy, and you're not stronger yet, yes. yet to, to go and launch it out. You must develop strength. Yes. And that's why when you asked about SWOT analysis, I said, perfect, you can't even do strategy without SWOT analysis, because you must identify your strength. So it's, it's, it's a lifelong um, issue or uh, uh, way that issues are achieved or objectives are achieved or visions are achieved, you must have a strategy. Wow. Can a strategy fail? Of course it can fail, Pastor. That's why most often people have plan A and B, strategy A and B. If this fails, if there's a probability, and you know in everything in life, most often there's probability. But if you've done a good analysis, it will most often not fail if you have done a good analysis. And why most strategies fail is because they, have, they were not done well. And they fail sometimes if you don't have the right information yes. when planning. And uh, that's why we recommend, especially in small business or even big business growth or business startup, to have a mentor, to have a coach, to have somebody who will ask you the right questions. And that will make you to put the right things in place. Wow. Yes. We, you, you run programs on business startup where you ask somebody about his financial plan. And he doesn't even know how. He doesn't even know that when he starts a business, it takes like six months before he starts earning. So what plan has he made to pay those who he has employed for the next six months before he starts making profit? And there was no plan about that. That's why the business will fail. Because from day one, there was no money kept aside to, for expenses before the business starts to make profit. He has rent. He has some other facilities to pay for. And he hasn't made plan. And uh, to him, is a good plan. But when a professional looks at it, he will now ask, how would you pay your workers for the next six months before you start making profit? And the guy wakes up, oh, I didn't even think about that. So strategies fail. Plans fail. Wow. There's someone probably watching now and he's, he's, he's asking a question in his mind. Supposing I don't have the capital to pay the one or two people I have engaged and I, I, I just think that well, we'll all wait as the business begins to yield, we're all getting paid. If it doesn't yield, we don't get paid. It's a sacrifice of every one of us. Is that accepted? It's, it's accepted if, if everybody has agreed on that. Okay. It must be agreed from the first day. Okay. Yes, and uh, it must be agreed. If it's not agreed, then you are, you are, you are on your own. Wow. Uh, everybody will expect to, to be paid either weekly or monthly. So when you're starting a business, that must be a plan that you must make. It's like getting into a paid job. Most paid jobs will say maybe we'll have one month 
or two months for documentation so you know yes uh -huh. so you make a plan of what you how you will live before you are get you you get pay, paid so it's that's how it works there was something you talked about which really caught my attention and i just kept thinking again and again you said business is about asking the right questions that means engaging with the right mentors to ask the right questions and help you answer these questions. Question. Well, that is, that is so very, very beautiful. Um, viewers, I believe you've um, learned one or two things. Um, Mrs. Linda told us that strategy is very, very, you know, I, I'm sorry, please. you know, I, I told you I was going to ask you a question. We just have about one minute left. So in 30 seconds, I asked you, I said, to the lay person, what is strategy? Strategy is a plan of action. It's a plan of action. Yes, Pastor. Wow. Strategy is a plan of action. That means if you must succeed in a business, you must have a plan of action. Must it be documented or you just have it in your head? Pastor, it should be documented. It should be documented. Whatever you want to do, you must have it documented. Step one to step two, step two to step three. And you must give it time frame. Is that not right? Yes. Very, very important. Thank you very, very much, Pastor. Mrs. Linda. Thank you for your contributions to this program. We've learned quite a lot from you. And I'm looking forward to having you on set sometime to discuss even more. Thank you. Viewers, I believe you've, you've learned a lot of things. You've um, heard some of the things you shared with us and these things are very very key and very very important you must have a strategy and your strategy must be documented you must have step one step two step three on the things you want to do without strategy you cannot actualize your vision for your vision defines your strategy i'm looking forward to having you again watching this show remember i've always told you as you keep watching this show you find yourself moving from one level of value creation to the next. God wants you to be a high performance individual and surely a high performance individual you'll become. I'll recommend some very important materials for you. Um, go on the Pastor Chris Digital Library. There's several materials there that will help you in building the right mindset. Remember the greatest coach, the greatest mentor on the air today is Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome. God bless you. See you next time. Welcome to the Performance Corner on today's episode. We're going to be looking at a word, but it's not just a word. It's actually an acronym of four letters. S-W-O-T, usually called SWOT. It's a very important analysis you do in business, whether it's a large business or a small business or you're just about starting. What does it mean? Um, it means examining and, and, and analyzing your advantages or disadvantages in the market to enable you come up with greater strengths and um, um, greater abilities to achieve what you want to do. What is this? S simply means your strengths as a business within the market you want to operate in, within the industry you want to operate in. What are your strengths? What do you have? that will stand out for you, that will enable you to compete effectively. Then we look at um, W, which is weakness. What are your inherent weaknesses that could work against you so that identifying these things, you can overcome them and um, give you greater ability or advantage to compete. Then we look at your opportunities, that's O. What are your opportunities in this market that you can take advantage of immediately and help you um, drive stability and drive dominance within the market or make you overcome the market. Then we look at um, um, the T. What are the threats in this market that could uh, work also against you and probably um, stop you or slow you down from achieving what you want to do? So doing a proper analysis on these things can enable you come up with better strategies better plans in achieving your goals and objectives or conquering the market you want to function in. So the SWOT analysis 
is very, very important. And that is something you must take home with you today. God bless you.